there's some positive news for the two biggest crypto assets in the world. The approval of a new Bitcoin, BTC, futures-backed exchange-traded fund, EDF, by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has again sparked hope that a spot-based Bitcoin ETF could come next. Meanwhile, investment banking giant Goldman Sachs has taken steps to expand its offering of over-the-counter, OTC, crypto options trading to options contracts based on Ethereum's native token ETH. Discussions in the community about how the SEC would treat new applications for spot-based Bitcoin ETFs follow the approval of the Tucrium Bitcoin Futures ETF on Wednesday this week. According to Bloomberg's senior ETF analyst Eric Balkunas, the approval is a good sign for Spot given that the application was filed under the so-called 33 Act, a rule that the SEC has previously said does not offer sufficient investor protections. A Spot Bitcoin ETF refers to an ETF that holds actual Bitcoin rather than Bitcoin futures contracts, with the latter often referred to as paper Bitcoin. Analyzing the decision further, Michael Sondensheen, CEO of digital asset manager Grayscale Investments, said the SEC as recently as last week cited a different set of standards under the 33 Act and the more commonly used 40 Act as its reason to continue to reject spot-based Bitcoin ETFs. Given the approval of the Tucrium under the 33 Act, those arguments used by the SEC have now been significantly weakened, Sonnenschein argued on Twitter, adding, Therefore, if the SEC is comfortable with a Bitcoin futures ETF, they must also be comfortable with a spot Bitcoin ETF. He went on to. And today that argument becomes even stronger. Thanks to Cryomeths and congratulations, Son and Sheen wrote. Meanwhile, investment bank Goldman Sachs said earlier this week that it plans to expand its current over-the-counter, OTC, offering of Bitcoin options to options contracts based on Ethereum. The comments from the bank were made by Andrei Kazantsev, Goldman Sachs Global Head of Crypto Trading, who during a client webinar said they plan to launch cash-settled DTH options in due course, according to Bloomberg. <laughs>